Delegates from the conference visited the studios of the Al Jazeera network to call on the international community to take a legal and moral stand against what they called a flagrant violation of human rights by the blockading countries. You came here from all over the world to stand with Al Jazeera against those who demand its closure. You came here to say no to strangling the freedom of speech. You came here to say yes to journalistic freedom, yes to the right of everyone to receive information. You're here to say yes to the protection of journalists from those who want to oppress their voices. The chairman of the conference said the blockading countries were manipulating the lives of thousands of people, separating children from parents and undermining the social fabric of Gulf communities. Dr. Ali Almari said the latest names on the designated terror list were being added without any proof or chance of appeal, and it was destroying people's lives. Human Rights Watch was the organization most outspoken in its condemnation of Saudi Arabia. It said nobody was talking about government terrorism, such as the Saudi-led coalition killing people in the Yemen. Their executive director said thousands were now dying in a cholera outbreak. 300,000 people have now gone down with the disease. 10,000 have been killed since the conflict was launched in 2015 against Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. Analysts say it's part of the undeclared war between Iran and Saudi Arabia, and Qatar is the latest front line in that war. The Emir of Qatar's call for the blockade to be lifted and talks to begin has received wide international support. But there's no sign of Saudi Arabia backing down. They can't afford to lose face. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Doha.